Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Sunday to everyone viewing. Today is the 23rd of July, 2023. And the topic before us this morning is follow Christ's way of life. Follow Christ's way of life. Our Bible readings will be taken from the book of Mark, Luke chapter 6. Luke's Gospel chapter 6. We'll start reading from verse 27. But I said unto you, which here, love your enemy. Do good to those which hate you. Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despisely used you. And unto him that smit thee on the one cheeks, offer also the other. And he that taketh away thy coat, forbid not to take thee thy coat also. Give to every man that acts of thee, and of him that taketh away the good, ask them not again. And as you would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if you love those which love you, then thank, what thanks have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. If ye do good to them which do good to you, what thanks have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if you learn to those of whom you hope to receive, what thanks have ye? For sinners also learn to sinners to receive much more. But love ye your enemies and do good and learn hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your heavenly Father is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye met with with her, it shall be measured to you again. This is the word of the Lord. Again, our topic this morning is follow Christ's way of life. I want to begin by letting us know that the reason why Jesus came was not only to die on the cross so that the sin of man would be taken away. Jesus came to die and then to live a life that would become example. The reason why Jesus stayed alive up to 33 years was because he wanted to live a life that will tell people what it takes to please God. The life of Jesus was lived so that we, that are his followers, will live in the same way and will be able to please his Father. No wonder the Bible says, where he was baptized, the heavens was open and God said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Remember also at the Mount of Transfiguration, the Bible said the heavens were open and God said, This is my son in whom I am pleased, listening to him or hear him. I want us to know that the life of Jesus is the life alone 
that can please the Father. So Jesus came to this earth not just to die, but to live a life that when we follow that life, we will please God. Remember also that it was in this manner that the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch because they were living the life of Christ. Jesus indeed is the measurement of those that will actually please God. I pray as we listen to his word, we will hear him and we will follow his steps in the mighty name of Jesus. The second thing I want to note from this scripture is that these teachings of Jesus were not just made to the public. If you read your Bible very well, there are many times Jesus will want to teach a very important topic and it will just be to the disciples. In the book of Matthew chapter 5, if you start reading from verse 1, the Bible says Jesus went up the mountain and the disciples came to him and he taught them. These teachings actually, if it were to every other person, some people will say it is a hard one. As I speak this morning and as we discuss, I know some people will say, Kai, this thing is not possible. But I want to tell you that they are very, very important. And it is my earnest prayer as we discuss and we look into these scriptures together. May God give us the grace to obey and follow the step of Jesus. In our scriptures where we read, the very important thing Jesus talked of in chapter 27 and chapter 28 the Bible said, love your enemy, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despisefully use you. Friends, we know that one of the most difficult things in life is how to treat your enemies. Before the coming of Jesus, we know that there is a law that was on ground, which was the law of Moses. And the Bible told us, according to the scriptures, in the book of Exodus chapter 21, verse 24 and 25. Turn your Bible with me quickly to Exodus chapter 21, verse 24 and 25. It's say, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, strip for strip. That means if anybody does anything to you, that person should be punished in the same way. If anybody slaps you, you have a right to retaliate. And I think this one is more easy for every normal human being. Because there is something that burns in our inside that always long for vengeance. It is true that many times if somebody hurts you, something inside you cry out to feel as if the person should also feel the pain of what you pain. And I want us to note also that many times the reason why we want to revenge, the reason why we want to pay back in that way is because quietly in the inside of us, we have not forgiven the person. But look at what Jesus said. He said, love your enemies and pray for those that hate you, those that are out for your, for your downfall. The Bible says what you're supposed to do for them is to love them. We are in a time where even in the church, 70% of what we pray for is against our enemies. We are in a time when even in the church, 70% is used, time for prayer is used to make sure we kill the enemy. But I hear Jesus speaking in his word. He said, those enemies that you want to keep, you're supposed to love them. I remember preaching in a church and I asked the people, if God answer all the prayer of my enemies should die, I wonder how many of us will be alive today. Because whether you like it or not, there were times you were an enemy to somebody. Whether you like it or not, 
There were times you offended a prayer warrior, and maybe the person have prayed that God should kill you, but God kept you alive. If God will answer every prayer of die, I don't think we will have anybody called the Paul that wrote many scriptures, many things in the Bible that we read today. Paul was indeed an enemy of the church, but because the people obeyed these same instructions, they did not pray for him to die. So Jesus said, what we ought to do for our enemies is not to pray that they should die, but rather we should pray that God will show them mercy. I know many of us have so many things to say, and maybe we have interpreted it in different ways. Somebody said, uh, God said we should pray for our enemies. He didn't tell us the type of prayer we should pray. Beloved, in this scripture, Jesus did not say you should pray against your enemy. In fact, he clearly started it. He said, do good to them. So what Jesus meant in this scripture is pray good prayer for them. It is true as human being, it is not easy, but this is the path through which our Savior and our Master Jesus Christ took. If you read through the Bible, you will note quickly that there are many occasions that prove that Jesus indeed was one that loved his enemies. For instance, a man like Judah, Jesus knew that Judah was the one that would betray him, but yet Jesus lived with Judah the way he lived with other disciples in the Bible. We also read in our Bible, when they came to arrest Jesus and he asked the soldier a simple question, he said, who are you looking for? The Bible says, as soon as they answer him, and the Bible says, they fell backward. Ah, if it were our time, what an opportunity to release the fire against them. But the Bible says, Jesus did not fire back. I also remember in that same story that the Bible says, Peter took a knife and cut off the ear of one of the servants. And Jesus Having these enemies that he should have dealt with, the Bible says Jesus still did, did miracle and healed the same people that came to, to, affect, to, to, to arrest him. That means he actually lived the life of showing love to his enemies. I pray for us and I pray in the name of the Lord. May God give us the grace to live this same life such as to love our enemies and to pray even for those that offend us, those that are out for our downfall, those that are out to frustrate us. May God give us this grace in the mighty name of Jesus. It is true that we as human, we have the Adamic nature. And our nature always sink for revenge. Our nature always sink to make sure what we have in mind is done. But Jesus teaching us today, he said, we should love our enemies. And we should pray for those that even cause us. It is not easy as a human being, but the grace of God will be sufficient. The Bible says it is not by spirit, it is not by mind, it is by my spirit. He says it's not by power. It's not by, by your own might, but by the Spirit of God. Don't forget, the Bible says, fruits of the Spirit includes love. It says the fruit of the Spirit also includes long-suffering. And the fruit of the Spirit includes forgiveness. The reason why many people pray evil prayer is because of all forgiveness. But this morning, the Lord is speaking to us. Love your enemies as yourself. As we continue, I believe, God will give us grace to do the right thing. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for this wonderful time. We thank you for the word that you have spoken to us. We ask that this word will take the rightful place in our heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us grace to do your will. Give us grace to follow your step. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Thank you. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.